Hey guys, I am Gautam and then in this course we will be discussing about integrating Redux inside our front-end application. This course uses functional components and then hooks like useState and useEffect and then custom hooks provided by React Redux package called useSelector and useDispatch. This course will have two projects. The first project will be a to-do project where we will be uh, getting the data, adding the to-do and then deleting the to-do. And then we'll, the second project will be getting the data from an API and then manipulating it. So this course discusses a lot of real world applications and then I have discussed a lot of theoretical aspects about Redux to make you understand. As a beginner, it's extremely difficult to learn Redux and there is no proper tutorial in the internet. So I, I decided to make this course. I have four years experience in making front-end applications and I have used Redux to manage my state globally. So this course will be extremely beneficial for you as a beginner if you don't understand the concepts from the various sources in the internet. So this by enrolling in this course, you will completely understand how Redux works what are the terminologies you have to use to integrate Redux into your application. So I hope you enroll in this course and then take your front-end development career to the next level. We'll see you in the next video. The code that we will be writing in this project will be available in this GitHub repository. So you can go there and visit and get the code. I will also be adding this link in the resources section. And I, for this course, I have upgraded the video so that you will get the captions here. So you can view that and understand the course more to get more impact and then benefit from this course. So I will see you in the next video where you, I will be installing a new React.js project and then I will be installing the necessary packages. In this video, we will look into how we can create a react project and install the necessary libraries so in order to do that you have to go to your terminal and then paste this command so you can go over here and copy this and then you can paste it here right so we are creating a react project and its name is redux tutorial so you can press enter right this will create a nice uh, react js project inside your system and once that is created, you have to install three libraries called React Redux, Redux and Redux Thunk to use Redux inside your application. Right. Let's wait till this particular uh, project is being installed. So Redux has a lot of things like a lot of terminologies associated with it. For example, we have actions, reducers, types, store. So the main purpose of using Redux is to store the data globally, right? For example, if our application has more than 5 to 10 components, we can't access data or send the data to all these 10 components from a single file. We have to use a technique called prop drilling to do it. But if we use Redux, we have the ability to uh, store the data in the global state and then use the data throughout all these 10 components via hooks like use selector and then we can also chain this particular uh, data with the help of a function called use dispatch so let's wait until this particular project is installed you can see this particular project has been installed so what we are going to do is we are go going to go inside this folder so cd redux tutorial and then we are going to install these three packages so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here right so right, like redux can can be used in all the front end frameworks like uh, nextjs reactjs remix etc but React Redux is a wrapper between React and Redux for us to uh, seamlessly use Redux inside the React project. Right. So these are the installation steps that we need to do. So in the next video, we will open this particular project in VS Code. And then we would uh, discuss what are the concepts and how to create a folder structure for Redux to use that inside our application. 
video we will look into how we can create a Redux folder structure to be used inside our application. So in order to check whether these pro the libraries were successfully installed, go to the package or JSON and see that React Redux and Redux and Redux Tongue libraries are installed. So now the next step is to go into the source folder and create a folder called a Redux. Right. This is my way of implementing Redux. There may be a lot of methods to do, but this particular method has been very helpful for me and I use this in every project I do. Right. So inside this Redux folder, you can create a folder called Reducer, Reducers, and then you can create another folder called Actions and another folder called uh, Types. Right. And then you need to create another file called Store dot js right so what we will be doing is we will be creating the actions that we want here and then the reducers that we want here and then the types that we will call uh, here right so these this is the folder structure right so in this course we will not be looking into class components we will be looking into the functional components which are heavily used which is the go to standard in 2023 right so in the next video, I will give a visual presentation on how to, on how Redux works and then like uh, what, all, what are all the terminologies that we need to understand and then the next part would be implementing these terminologies inside our application to uh, globally manage the state. So in this video, we will be discussing about the terminologies associated with Redux. So the first terminology is called action. And the second is reducers and then the third is types right so these are the names which you can find in all any other uh, state management libraries in front end so first we will discuss about action so what are actions actions are functions which we call to change the state in the global level so we will keep it that for now so second is reducer so what are reducers so reducers form the core part of a redux where the first step is to initialize a state so we initialize a state and then next what we do is we write a function so this is nothing but a function which has switch case statements in that and then in that we will have types when when we uh, call these types we change the state of the application so to be frank this is tough to understand so first in the next couple of videos we will be discussing these theoretical aspects and then we will be going into the implementation right so in this video what you can understand is there are three important concepts in redux which are actions reducers and types so we have to understand all these three types together or fully to implement Redux in our application. So in the next video, we will be discussing how we will use Redux with hooks and the theoretical aspects. So in this video, we will look into the theoretical aspects of how we can use hooks with Redux and what are the hooks which we will be reusing again and again throughout our application. So the first hook we would use is called use selector and then the second hook we will be using is called use reducer. Right. So these are the two hooks that we will be using. So in terms of context API which is another state management uh, concept given by React. Uh, we use something called uh, use context etc right so if you use class components you have to use some other uh, uh, code to implement redux but i use functional components and that is the go to standard now right so what is the use of use selector and use reducer right so what is the use first use selector is used to uh, you know, get the state get the state from the global level right for example you have something called name email in the global level 
and then you want to use that throughout the application what you can do is you can call the use selector uh, hook and then you can get the data from the global state and then use that throughout the application so for example you have an array of data that you want to show throughout the application for example uh, in facebook or in instagram you have the list of feeds right what you can do is in order to show the same data throughout the application without calling the api you can use use selector and then get the data and then show that throughout the application right and the next tool which we will be using is called use reducer right so what is use reducer it's very simple so we use use reducer sorry sorry it's not use reducer uh, it's called use dispatch right so use reducer we use that in context api right so it's not reducer it's dispatch right yeah so i will also tell about context api as well in this video right so we will be using use dispatch so the terminologies get confused but it's also better to know what uh, we use in context api as well it's an add on to this course right so use dispatch so what we uh, why use dispatch is used is if you want to change if you want to change or update your state in the global level you can use use dispatch to uh, what i can say like change the state in the global level for for example uh, let's take uh, you have and your name is gautam and then what you do is you want to change that to gautam v right in the global level so in use uh, state what you do you use set name and then you change the uh, name right so in, in terms of uh, redux what you can do is you can use use dispatch to do the same task right you can call a function called dispatch and then like uh, you can call an action and then you can achieve it right so uh, in below i will write the uh, hooks that we will be using in redux and then the hooks which we will be using in uh, context api so use selector is used in redux and then use dispatch is used in redux right but in this is in redux so but in context api what we do is we use use context and then use reducer to uh, in context api the fact is i have been doing this for 4 years still i am getting confused with redux uh, and context because like uh, at the start of my career i used context a lot but then uh, i started to use redux which gave me a very good results in my front end application so what is the difference between these two right use selector is used to get the state and then use dispatch is used to change the state same way in context api use context is used to uh get the state and then use reducer is used to change the state right so why i am telling this so in the next video like i will be discussing how we will be using actions with use dispatch to to change the state in the global level in terms of code and then i will also be telling about how we will use use selector to get the state so this is part 1 right so the part one of how we use the read hooks to do this stuff within our application and then once the you understand this uh, code logic of how we'll be using these we'll be discussing on the redux implementation like the types reducers and going into the vs code and doing all this right so in this video we will be looking into the pseudo code of redux which we will be using inside our application so this is not the final code but it's a code which we can understand to implement it in our application so let's go here and then create a folder called redux right so inside this we will create actions and then what we will do is we will create reducers and then we will create types right so first thing okay let's create a dummy file uh, called redux.js this is like only for uh, learning purposes right so what i told us uh, like we would have installed all the necessary libraries before so now uh, like we will be looking into the hooks implementation here 
right so we have not coded anything inside actions and reducer this is just to make you understand how we will retrieve it and then we will uh, change the uh, state in the global level so first thing let's discuss about use character so the code required is like we will use const and then any data so okay let's use this again. so what we'll be doing is so we'll be going here and then use const data equal to use selector and then we will be using this code so state is to state dot and then the reducer name so uh, i use reduce reduce user reducer right so this is the uh, code we will be using to get the state from the global level so this is just pseudo code right like first thing is um, okay this is the pseudo code so i will explain each terms here so what is use selector so use selector is the uh, like code which we get from react redux all right second is use reducer is nothing but the reducer name that we give inside reducers right so just keep it in mind for now so next is const dispatch equal to use dispatch dispatch okay right so what is this this is a code to like this is a function or a hook which we will be using to dispatch an action so this like uh, keep this in mind dispatch an action this made me understand redux very well so we will be using this to dispatch an action so what is the logic here so we will be uh, implementing uh, action in this action is nothing but a function okay whatever we do here is a function people just gave a name called action reducer types etc right so what we'll be doing is we'll be using this code so dispatch of that action name or that like of that action which is a function so what we will call is we will call update user right it can be anything right so update user will be a function okay inside the, this file right so that's it the, this is the code you need to use to implement redux in your application that is the front end side right like what the user will be saying so what you would be doing here is you would be uh, calling the global state or getting the global state data with this one and then you can dispatch actions and change that state with this one right so we'll go here and then we will change like data dot Uh, and then we can use name or data dot email anything right so this is how you use hooks to achieve this particular function right so in the next video we will be discussing how we can create the uh, what i can say like re reducers with an initial state and switch case statements so in this video we will be discussing about how we can create the initial state inside this particular folder so like inside this reducers folder so first thing what we will be doing is we will be uh, creating a uh, two reducers so first reducer will be called reducers.js and then second is called user reducers dot you can name this thing like you can name uh, anything here right so what we will be doing is we will be initializing a state here right so first thing is const initial state equal to right and then what we will be doing is we will be calling a function or sorry defining a function so export const user reducers equal to and then what we will be doing is we will be using a switch case statement here so switch and then we will be doing something here right so what like what we are going to do is we are going to uh for this like for the first project that we are going to do now we are going to create a simple input field with a form and then we are going to update the name of the user in the global state right so clearly i understand this is the or i can say like the boilerplate of reduce like reduce redux right so in the reducers what we will be doing is you will be giving an initial state 
and then in like you will be uh, creating a function or defining a function and you will be giving a switch case statement right that's it so now what like the next step would be here is in the action side so here you have this uh, function so in the action side what i'm going to do is i'm going to create something called actions actually you can name it anything but i'll just give it actions and then user actions right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create a action that is a function which will update the user name when a button is clicked in the form so export const and then update user data you can name it anything so update user data and then this thing like let's keep it here so this is a action update update user data action right so what we you can uh, like create multiple or n number of uh, functions here right so here you have de uh, defined an function like we will be uh, changing the uh, code here in the next coming videos so the next thing we will go to types actually you can use it uh, for it's up to you you can create this types folder or you can declare it here itself but it's better to learn uh, declaring the types outside the actions right so we'll go here and write types.js and then we'll also write user types.js so now comes the like you can uh, do anything here but now comes the important aspect where we will be defining types which we will be uh, using to change our state so export cons change name is to and then change like yeah, like this is the naming format that i learned 3 to 4 years back so i am using it the same way right it's nothing but like when you call an action like here we have reducers here we have actions here we have types right so what the, the real uh, concept comes here right in the next video we'll uh, implement the code implementation so we have declared all this but without the real code here but so uh, why i did this is to uh, to tell you the uh, theoretical aspects behind this so i'll go here okay so what we have we have actions we have types we have reducers right so what we will be doing is we will be calling an action with a type right with a type which will change the state in redux right so the logic is an action we call an action so i'll write it here so we call an action with the type to change the global state in the reducer right so how do we call an action so we call an action with something called dispatch and then we get the value with use selector so this is the very basic uh, knowledge about redux right so the tough part is about redux is so you have multiple concepts like user action that is actions reducers types and then the next one is dispatch and then selector so there are five things you have to clearly understand theoretically right if you understand this it's very easy to do it. right so in the next video what we will do we will implement the reducer right and then we will implement the action and we will implement the types so in this video we will be creating a reducer an action and a type right so type is already created so we will first create a reducer right or like change the code in this reducer right so first thing what you have to do is you have to initialize a state and then you have to create a function right and then here i have a dummy redux a reducer which i have created for my previous application right so if you see here what i have done so same way i have created a initial state so and then i have given user data here right and then in the parameters i have given state and then action right and then here you can see i have given a switch case statement which is nothing but a conditional uh, uh, operator right like uh, we will use switch if case if else etc so switch is used in uh, redux right so it's not like you can use several others as well 
right why we use which is in if else statement uh, it may be like if else else if right three types of uh, uh, conditions but in switch you may have uh, n number of uh, conditions associated with it right so for example in stripe webhooks uh, which i have created like implemented in my application uh, there may be multiple uh, what i can say like uh, cases or types which you have to take care of right so it may be invoice dot paid uh, payment intents dot succeeded etc like customer dot subscription dot updated created right so there may be multiple types so it involves using webhooks etc right now coming to reducer in this switch case statement so what we will be doing here is we first thing we will initialize the state like this so let's go uh, here okay let's close all this okay let's go here and then in this side we will use user data and then a empty object right actually you can do anything here you can have a stay like you can have an object you can have an uh, uh, what i can say like an array etc right so i'll go here so what i have done here is state equal to initial state and action so what we are doing is we are uh, having a two parameters like action and state so we are initializing the state with the initial state we have here right so next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy and paste it here so let's go here and then i'll paste it here. i will uh, upload this particular uh, repository in github so that you can use it right so let's go here now what i'm going to do is in this side i have something called switch action dot type so we will okay action dot type so what is this right okay this is completely theoretical if you understand this you understand it ex fully right so now here we have initialized a state called user data right to understand this you have also have to know the knowledge about uh, spread operators etc right actually only spread operators right i will try to explain this now a uh, short uh, summary of spread operators right okay so first let's discuss this so here we have first okay first we'll come from the top action dot type so what is what what is this right so this action dot type is nothing but the type of that action actually you can give any name here okay right i can give actions you can give anything right so what is the logic of this so the action dot type is nothing but the type of action you want to carry out right so for example here i want to store the user data here i want to update the user data here i want to log out the user data or anything right it's a type right so what we do is we call an action with this type right we call an action with the type called store user data update user data right so how do we do this we use a dispatch to call it from the front end and then we will be declaring a function in the for actions folder so it may be it may be called update user data right so when we call a function with the with dispatch in it what will happen is it will call the reducer and then it will go into the switch case statement and it will update the global state okay so this is a lot of information to consume so what i will do in this video i will be going into the user actions and i will be updating the data there so this is another dummy uh, like not dummy like it's a uh, action that i have declared in my previous application so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it inside the actions right so and then i'm going to use data here right so what is this what is the logic of uh, doing this right so in the front end side what we'll be doing we'll be using dispatch of this particular action so dispatch of this particular action right and then we will be sending a data so this data would be the name right we'll be doing something like this right so this is tough to understand now but as the course progresses on you will understand this easily right so what we'll be doing here is we will be importing or getting this function and then we will be calling the uh, dispatch function that is who with this particular function with the parameter that is nothing but the data right and then we will be sending it to redux okay so we will conclude this video for now 
but the uh, no but the summary of this video is you you will be declaring a initial state like this and then you will be uh, creating a function like this with a switch case statement right and then inside that switch case you may have multiple cases so how will you differentiate between the cases you will be differentiating with the type how will you call the type you will call the type with the actions right so we'll uh, it's lots of information so we'll stop it here so in the next video what i will be doing is i will be discussing the types right i will be changing the types here and there so that you will understand more okay so we'll go into types right so let's go here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a, a action called delete user data okay to be frank the redux is nothing but copying and pasting stuff actually if you clearly understand redux right it will take you 5 minutes to set up and then you will be copying and pasting the code here and there and then you will be good to go right so what i'm going to do see you can see here i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it here and then i'm just going to change it to delete okay and then i'm going to change the type so i have hard coded here so for more sophisticated uh, cases we can go here we can copy and paste it here and then use delete user name okay let's take data okay right and then what i'm going to do i'm going to go here in the actions i'm going to take this out and then i'm going to import it here and use it here right so why we are doing like why i am uh, the application that i used before was very small like my personal application was very small so i just simply uh, created the state like like types like this and i have used it here only three right so i'm just storing the data updating and then i am like logging out the user right but here like when your application grows very huge right like you may have almost 5 to 10 to 15 types here so it's better to separate the state or the type in this uh, separate file and then use it anywhere right so first thing i have created like okay i have uh, you know like a declared uh, action here right and then what i'm going to do is so it's called delete user data right so i'm going to go inside this reducer right inside this reducer and then i'm going to create a case so okay let's comment all this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use case and then i'm going to call this okay and then i'm going to use colon and then here comes the important side right so i'm going to go here and then i write uh, data not data it will be confusing so uh, redux course something you can give any uh, name to a key right key and a variable so i'm going to use redux course here so and then i'm going to go here so we are going to delete only the user data so i'm going to go here and use return and then what we are going to do we are going to delete the user data so for that i'm going to use dot 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 state and then user data is null right so i'll explain what this is so the state is an object right so the particular state is an object which has uh, what we can do is we can spread the state which is nothing but this and then we can change the particular key here so for example here we have user data and then redux course right so what we can do here we can get this particular object spread it and then change that key that we want to change which is this right so i am going to delete it delete means what i am going to remove all the key value pairs inside this particular object right so what what i have done here first thing i have declared a type here and then i have gone into the actions and then i have declared a action here and then what i can do is i can call it in the front end like this and then i can go inside this reducer and then i can create a case like this with the type and then here is the most important side like to be frank you have to have a lot of uh, javascript knowledge to understand what i am doing here but in this course i will make you understand this fully right so we are we came here we created a case and then we have changed the state right 
so every switch case statement has to have a default so we will just use default and return state nothing but like if the state does not match it will uh, just give out the uh, existing state right so to recap all this first thing we have the user types and then we created an action and then we go to the reducer right so the full step is so you can write down the step if you want declare as type type is nothing but the action like the function or the uh, outcome you want right second is create an action right and then create a case in reducer to change state and then what you do you call the action with dispatch and the last step is you change the state you change the state and you see what's happening in the application right so this is the step by step process of handling swobble state management in redux so we have some other libraries called as stand and this and that right but like redux is the first most prominently used uh, you know, state management library right so till now we have just seen some code implementations and lot of theoretical aspects so in the next video what i will do i will run this application in the front end and then i will be looking into the code implementation of how you can combine a redux with your front end and then like look into all the things that we have discussed now so we will be looking we will be creating a to do project and then we will be the last project would be acts using use effect use state etc to uh, like get the data from uh, external api and then using that inside our application and then storing those data inside a redux right if you want you can uh, if you want to know about the basics of redux sorry react you can let check out my other course which discuss about the use state and use effect right yeah okay in this video we will be discussing about integrating redux with our front end application right so in the first initial videos we discuss about the installation of uh, redux inside our react project so what you have to do is uh, like simply install react redux redux and redux tank inside your front end application right like npm i and then install all this right the so next step what you have to do is uh, you can go here and use a react redux right and then click on getting started and then you can go here so install all this stuff right so now listen carefully you have to do this step one by one so first thing go into the index.jx of your file like your project simply uh, now and, and then copy this paste it here okay so i don't use react dot stick more and all so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to replace it here okay so this is the first step right so here you have uh, you have something called store right so this is the uh, like this is the place where you have something called the store right we will be discussing this fully in this course in this video right so as you can see uh, if you scroll down you have something called the use selector and then use dispatch right to be frank like uh, it's very very tough to understand what they are doing here right so what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to create a store and then a global reducer.js file right first thing let's create a reducer.js file so this is the dummy uh, what i can say like uh, uh dummy uh, not a dummy like the redux file that i have used in my previous application right so first thing like you have everything here right so it's nothing but the first three lines of code here is you can copy and paste it here right it's nothing like you just we are just importing the libraries the second one is we are importing the reducer right so what reducer so here you have user reducers right so simply i'm going to go inside this uh, top file okay first we'll discuss what are these two files right so in this uh, redux folder you would have created three folders called actions reducers and types okay keep it there 
and then what you have to do is you have to click on create new file and then create a, another file called reducer.js right and then another f file called store.js right so once you are done go into the reducer and then copy and paste these three import things in three import uh, code uh, code lines right next import the reducer so i'm going to go here and then i'm going to use i'm going to import this is nothing but user reducers okay right what is this here this one right i imported this now copy like I'm going to copy this line. I'm going to paste it here and explain what is this, right? So what is the purpose of this line, right? So the purpose of this line is to uh, like, like in your application, you will have N number of reducers, right? You can have 10, 15, 100, or etc. right? So in order to combine all the reducers together, we just use this function. You just, what you have to do here is you have to copy and paste this code. So I'm going to copy this and I have pasted it here. Now. The second step is I'm going to apply a middleware called thunk and then I'm going to create a store and then I'm going to export the store right so what is the logic of this right so why I'm doing this so I am doing this because we are like as I told at the start Redux is nothing but storing your uh, uh, data globally right you are st globally storing your particular data somewhere in the Redux and then you are using it everywhere so what we are doing essentially in this file is we are uh, taking all the reducers and then we are putting that in the global level. Also, we are uh, storing the state in the global level, right? So this is how you, you can create the reducer, right? The uh, global reducer. Okay. Well, uh, we'll have another time that's called global reducer. And then we'll put that into the state. That is nothing but the store, right? So in the next video, what I'll be doing is I'll be declaring the store and then inside and then we are going to use that inside the index.js file okay in the previous video we discussed about the reducers etc so in this video we'll discuss about the store.js actually there is no need to use the store.js uh, explicitly in a react redux project because we are exporting this particular thing from this file as well but in the next course we will be discussing about uh, integrating redux uh, with local storage in a react native project right so in there we will be using this store.js right so for now i am going to delete this right so now what i am going to do is as we have done all this in this uh, file so the summary of this particular file is simply copy and paste the code in your next project and then add the reducers like this right so you can, you can copy and paste all the content in this uh, file in your next project and then just change the name of the reducers right we will be using these reducers name inside a use selector in the upcoming videos right so that is the tip uh, i use i will tell you to use because that's what i use right yeah so in the index.js what you can do is you can go here and then here you can see you can use intellisense to get it right to get the particular uh, store from the file right and that's it you have successfully integrated redux inside your project if you go here they have given this step alone right what they have done they have uh, like you know like given actually they didn't uh, go through the uh, what i can say like these initial steps of doing all this but if, if if you don't do this right if you use use selector and then use dispatch it will break right so that is the thing so in the next video, what I'll be doing is I'll be running this project, right? And then I'll be creating an input field, right? And then I'll be using these functions called use selector and then use dispatch, right? So in the terms of context API, it is use context and use reducer, right? Yeah. So in this video, let's uh, run this project in the term, like different end. So CD Redux tutorial and then npm start okay this project is running now so okay now what we will do we will go inside app.js and then remove all this code right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use cons name comma set name equal to use state right 
and then i'm going to give a input field input type equal to text and then value equal to name and then set thing oh sorry on change is equal to is to set name of e dot target dot value okay and then i'm going to close this here right and then i'm going to create a button and then i'm going to use an on click here on click okay on click and then i'm going to give it something like uh, uh read a chain like submit okay like you can give anything here right so i'm going to save it if i go here you can have i have this submit here so what i'm going to do to have more visual clarity i'm going to use style margin top of 200 so let's use margin of 200 okay to center it okay we have something like this okay so don't care about the ui i uh, just like what uh, learning purposes right so now if you type something here it will be show like you know it will change right so what i'm going to do i'm going to display it as well name right so it will change okay it looks very bad so what i will do i'll go here use div and this and div and this right so we'll have this so it will change right so i'm going to enter my name call gautam okay right so it is here now this is a normal uh, react project like what you will be doing now how will you integrate a redux here this this is the final step right if you understand this you are uh, you are good to go right so now how you will integrate it here so i'm going to close all the uh, other files now first thing let's go to the uh, actions right so in the actions you have something called update user action so what i'm going to do see i'm going to use cons dispatch equal to use dispatch i'm going to import it at the top like this okay it will automatically import and then how will you get the data and show it to the user const user data any name you can give and then use use selector and then state is to you can give anything here state or whatever and then state dot now comes the most important one which took me so long to understand and implement right here if you go into this reducer.js file right in here you have this name right what you have to do is you have to copy this and you have to paste it here that's it right what is the logic of doing this so if you do this what we are uh, what happens is this particular thing like this particular variable will contain all the code all the state or the values of this state which we have declared here right how is that possible that's what redux does right so in order to check it what we can do is we can go here and give something like name is to redux so what I have done here inside this state inside this user data I have given something like name here okay so user data dot name so what I'm going to do is okay I'm going to use just user here to avoid confusion so I'm going to use user here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to go here and then use user and then user data and then name right so if I go here, so what I have done, user reduces, so, okay, so first thing, okay, before doing this, to make you understand this more, I'm going to console.log this value. So let's go here and then use console.log and then we'll just use this, right? Always remember, this is a pro tip that I will give you. As a beginner developer, you don't know what data is there, what data like is changing, etc. So you can use console.log to debug and then know what is happening. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to inspect, right? I'm going to go to console. So here you can see object. You see object and then inside that user, da user data is there, right? So inside here, user data dot name. So what I'm going to do, let's reload this. Okay, so you can see here we have user data dot name. I just reloaded this state. Okay, right. So what is happening here? Okay, I will like this is a lot of information, but let's uh, break it down one by one, right? So now what I have done, I have declared something called dispatch here, and then I have given something called use selector here, right? 
so first thing we'll discuss getting the data right so what we are doing inside this use selector we are accessing the state of the reducer which is called use reducer right so what is the state we have here we have this right so when a console dot log this value right what is coming here it's coming user data a name so this is nothing but an object right so what i am doing here user dot user data dot name and then the value is changing here right so if this is confusing please take a break and then view this video again if you see this video two to three times you will clearly understand what i am saying right so i will say this one last time and we will move to the next video with the same content right so now first thing in the uh, what we are doing we are getting the global data okay how do you get it you get it with use selector i am seeing i am saying this from the uh, previous video so you are getting with the use selector and then how from where you are getting that is the logic from where you are getting so we are you are getting the data from the reducer which is nothing but this one so what i am doing i am using use reducers as a key here so i am going to call that key here okay so let's take i am going to change this to this value and then this to this value right if i reload this it will be the same but let's take i change this it shows undefined right so this value and then this value should be same this it literally it took me multiple weeks to understand this one alone right if you understand if i understood this i could have gone leaps and bounds in front end development three years back right so first step is this and then what is the logic of using this is in the initial state you have these uh, things here right so what do you do you have an object here and then you have a name here one more i will go so i am going to use uh, is like uh, like is scores good i will use uh, yes right something any any name you can give right so i am going to copy this and then i am going to go here in the div i am going to use so the user would be the same because that is the va uh, variable name i am going to use is good right what i am doing i am going inside the state i am getting this remember the state is an object so you are going to access a key in an object so we are accessing a key in an object so i am going here i am going to reload this you can see yes it's coming that's it right the first part of getting the data from the global state is done right so here you have this etc etc right so you have to do all this step to get this working so you you may be asking why we are doing all these things uh, like for this simple uh, project no if you are going to use a very huge project with 50 to 100 screens which i am working currently it's mandatory to use redux right yeah so in the next video i'll be discussing the logic of dispatch and then the logic of dot 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 like the spread operator so in this video uh, we will be discussing about the uh, dispatch how what is the logic of using dispatch and then the actions right so first thing we'll go to the actions and then you have something called the update user data so what i'm going to do you see i am going to go into the on click so this is a function so a function needs to be called to be executed right so i have declared the dispatch like this and then i am going to copy this and i am going to paste it here right and then what i am going to do i am going to get this function here so i am going to take this paste it here and then i am going to import it at the top like this use intellisense in vs code to achieve this so what i am going to do i am going to use dispatch of let's see what i'm going to do is dispatch of this name okay uh, you may be asking what what i am doing right so i am i will explain it each one by one right so this is the local state okay this is the local state that we are uh, doing here right now if we press on a button called submit or whatever what we are going to do is we are going to update the global state right this is the local with use state but we are going to update the global state so how we are going to do it so if you simply call this update data action nothing will happen okay but if we call it with dispatch it changes the global redux state right so 
how does it do it it first thing it we if you use it it happens but we have to give some keys right so i'll go here and then if you see carefully here we have something called a type and then a data okay so if i go into the reducer in this side in this update user data what i have is i have user data like i have something called action dot data okay this may be confusing right so first thing let's understand with the action so in the action you return a type you return a data okay so now you may, you will be asking in the previous video what is the logic of giving action dot type now comes the answer the action dot type is nothing but the type that we give from the from from our side to the reducer so what happens here is when you return this right this particular action checks what is the type which we gave and then matches with this cases right this is like uh, you have to know switch case to understand this but this nothing but if it is if the action dot type is equal to equal to the store uh, store user data right what happens like this case gets ticked like this case gets true and then this particular uh, function or whatever gets executed right so if it is update user data this action dot type this particular function gets updated so what we have sent we have sent update user data right so that is the first thing so we'll understand the first case here so what we are doing we are using dispatch to dispatch or call an action in redux right and then we are sending a data so we are sending data so what data we are sending we are sending name so name to which function this function okay so that gets added here so whatever we send here gets added here okay so it may be anything okay now this is the type so here we have store a data right so what we need to have we need to have this okay so in from the front end we are dispatching and then we are sending the data and then it's going here and then inside this function we are returning this right uh, you may be asking why we are doing all these steps uh, like too many steps for this uh, if if you are four to five years uh, in, into front end development right your project cannot survive without redux so it's it's mandatory for you to uh, put a lot of time to understand redux so that when you level up right in your career this this course will help you a lot right so now inside this update user data action we call this type we call this data okay that is we uh, return this data right this goes into the reducer side and then inside this we get the action dot type so see clearly this type is nothing but this type it is update user data right so what we are doing here is completely javascript logic okay right so what we are doing here is we are spreading these uh, initial state which is this spreading is like understand carefully listen carefully like we are getting the object values and then we are spreading it is nothing but we are just copying the values here right so we have copied all the values here like this and then what we are going to do is we are going to go into that particular key that we want and then we are going to do our stuff there right so key okay, care see carefully here the state is nothing but an object and then user data is also an object so what we do we spread the state that is nothing but the uh, uh, what is it like the initial state and then we are going to like inside this we have name right so let's take we have age so age is 100 right we'll use 100 so what we are going to do is we are going to what i can say like here we have the name and then like uh, yeah so for, here we have the name so what we like from the front end we send the name or right so what we do here is first we spread this initial state and then we go inside this object and then we spread that object itself and then we add the data that we want right actually this shouldn't be like this like uh, actually this should be uh, name is to, okay okay we'll see that like it should be name is to action dot data why okay i'll i will we will also discuss the previous case okay i'll copy this actually i should uh, copy this yeah 
okay so i'll copy this and then we'll paste it like we'll come and this out so what i or what i'll discuss what this is what that is right so it will be more uh, understandable right so what this does is it spreads the total state and then it goes into this object and then it it spreads that object and then we have to go inside that name and update that name right but what we are doing here is from the front end we can send something like this name is to name so if we do this see carefully this itself is an object right you can spread an object only you can't spread the string etc right right so if this is confusing we will just keep it for now right uh, you can search about uh, spreading an operator right or else in uh, in the upcoming videos i'll try to uh, have a dedicated video for spreading right so now i have done this right so what i'm going to do you see i'm going to go here now comes the magic so we have done all this right so what we have here so we have something called redex right so i'm going to go here so click on submit we keep click on uh, okay let's reload this right so we'll go okay this is called you update user data so we'll go here update user data update action so this is a name data and then we'll go here so user data state dot user data, action dot data okay so what we'll do uh, we will see this magic of changing the global state in the next video so in this video we'll be uh, showcasing the magic of changing the global state with all these functions together right actually it was available in the uh, previous video so i just wanted to give a more sophisticated example right so let's go here so here we have read x right i'm going to change it to gautam and then i'm going to click on submit you can see the state is changed what is this magic or what are, what we are doing here right so what we are doing here is first thing we are having an input field and then in that input field we are changing the local state and then we are updating the global state with that state right simply put we will have the state uh, inside this use state and then if you press on that button it updates the uh, global one right in order to do this simple function you have to endure all this stuff right now in this video i will be discussing what the hell is a spread operator and then uh, how you can go like you know implement like understand it fully to implement the redux if you understand the spread operator right you can do like you are 100% complete in uh, redux like what i can say like 100% uh, uh, confident in uh, like making your own re reduces right so first thing what i'll do i'll go here and then i'll i'll use const data is to and then name is to 1 age is to 2 something right and then what i'm going to do you see i'm going to use console dot log so this is an object you can only spread an uh, object and then uh, array with some elements okay so i'll use data dot you can see it automatically comes so name if i console dot log it if i go here if i search it here right one one is coming now see carefully so name now, now data dot name is an string so if i spread it right what will happen you see the like the data will not come right there is no data there but this seems harm, harmless harmless now but in real world applications right this will crash your uh, project right so what you have to do here is so you have data dot name so now what we, okay i will go here and then i will copy this initial state this is just for testing and to make you understand this so now this initial state is a object right so what i'm going to do is dot 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 initial state if i do this you can see object is not iterable this error bugs me a lot it's it's very annoying to fix this in production or in my real like work or in my personal projects right so what the hell i am doing here right so i am taking this object and i am spreading it without without any like without any uh, what i can say like uh since literally since okay so i'm just using it like this right it will crash 
so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this inside an object uh, always remember spreading is copying okay spreading is copying so we are spreading the object which is nothing but copying okay so if i do this you can see it just the same data okay whatever we have here we have it here okay we are console dot logging that now comes the uh, most confusing part for a beginner where you spread an object within an object this is an object and you are going to spread an object within an object what, what you are how you are going to do it so i am going to use this technique so i am going to use this dot 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 initial state okay i will take this out dot 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 initial state so what happens here so in this particular one we will have the user data and then the is scores good uh, key this is key okay so we will have this now this is a important concept which a beginner has to know whatever key key which like you have let's take you have user data here and then another user data here a name is uh, react right you see what will happen if you console dot log it you can see react is coming what happens here is the top level key you have given here is overridden by the bottom level key value so this is an important concept to know which will uh, like make you understand what is happening here right so what we are doing inside this user data we are uh, uh, having this particular uh, data here and then we are again using the key here right so if i use key scores good and then it's excellent okay please give five stars okay so excellent and then what will happen if i console dot log it it will excellent is coming what is the logic this is replacing the previous values here so we are going to use the exact concept here so we are going to spread it to have the existing values like this and then we are going to use comma and then we are going to use user data and then what we are going to do here comes the magic so we are going to use the same thing initial state dot user data and then our logic is to change the name from redex to let's take uh, uh, react native okay so what we are doing here we are spreading the initial state to get all the values here and then we are going inside that state which is nothing but user data and then we are spreading that object itself and then we are changing the name okay now if i console dot log it if i if i go here you can see react native will be there now if i want to change the age also i can do 30 if i do that if i scroll down if i check now it will be 30 that's it right this is the most important concept you have to understand by or using reducers right so now like like actually this is a javascript concept it's not a reducer etc it's a normal javascript concept if you understand this right you can do anything right so this is the very uh, small project that we have done to make you understand what is redux and how you will use use selector and use dispatch to uh, like you know work around with uh, redux right so in from and the next couple of videos uh, in the next part of this course we will be making two uh, projects one is a to do application and then the last one is uh, getting data from an api to uh, store it and then to update it etc so that will make you understand how to operate with asynchronous functions which is nothing but getting a value from an api storing it and then like uh, like doing something there right if you are able to understand this and then make those two projects you are uh, not a beginner in redux you are well versed with redux now so in this video what we'll be doing is we'll be discussing about the to do reducer so like in this video we'll be creating a three files called to do reducer uh, to do actions and then to do types we will be creating a to do and then deleting a to do and then reading them etc right so in the next project we will be uh, discussing about getting the data from an api and doing the same to do application in that that concludes the codes. So first let's go to the project and then what we will do, we will create an action. So this is the logic that you need to do inside your application as well. So the process is, 
so let's take that you want to uh, create a billing reducer or else a list reducer or whatever right so what you have to do is first go to the actions it's up to you, you can uh, do any uh, steps so you have to go here and then type uh, okay for now we are going to do is to do actions right to do actions dot js and then uh, to do reduces dot js and then the types what we are going to do is to do types dot js so first thing in the to do uh, what we are going to do is as i said before copy and paste work so paste 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 actually we are going to uh, like add to do action and then delete to do action right so we are going to do this so uh, this is to do's and then like we are going to go to the use reducer copy this and when we are going to paste it here so we are going to take everything out here so no need lock out etc right so we will keep it like this and then in the types what we are going to do is same logic copy it we will copy this and we will paste it here so now I'm, what I am going to do is I am going to do add to do as one type and then delete to do delete to do as another type so now i'm going to go to the act to do actions and then i'm going to paste it here so add to do and then delete to do right so i'm going to do this right and then in the reducers i'm what i'm going to do is first thing i'm going to change the type so i'm going to change the type to add to do and then delete to do right now i am going to change the state so use the data and all i am not going to do i am going to actually you can give uh, let's take you can give one something uh, like you can give a number you can give a boolean value you can give an array okay you can give any type of value you can give an object array of object etc and whatever right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and then I'm going to use to do's right so I'm going to use a type called uh, array of objects so what is the like what is array of objects is inside an array we have multiple objects and multiple object like the object may contain multiple key value pair items so what we are going to do is we are going to set an initial state of name is to uh, let's take redux right name is to redux that's it right now what we are going to do is i am going to change this name to to do reduces to do reduces so the logic is, and then i am going to give an id of 1 ok so now in this add to do uh, we will discuss about the functionality so what we are going to do is if you press on submit right we are going to add a to do right we are going to push an element inside this particular array and then if you are going to use delete right we are going to filter the elements out so this is nothing but we are going to use higher order functions i have discussed this extensively in my react js courses so you can view that if you want to right or else i will give a short summary in this but for more uh, clarity you can view those like purchase those questions and view it so what we are going to do is first thing when the user uh, like calls this action called add to do we are going to push that element inside that array right when he deletes it we are going to use filter so let's go here when he does this right same logic we are going to use dot 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 state and then inside those to do's we are going to use this logic so we are going to go here and we are going to use spread operator and then we are going to use state dot to do's comma and then whatever the value that we get from the array so that is the type 1 type 2 is in this return statement what we are going to do is start dot dot state and then we are going to go here and then inside here we are going to use state we are going to remove this state dot to do uh, state dot to do start filter and then we are going to remove that id so item dot id not equal to action dot data dot id okay so we will be discussing what we are doing here in the upcoming videos but in this video what i wanted to say is like this is the way you have to create a new action reducer types whatever i did here is 
purely javascript right like javascript concepts like spread operators and then uh, filter map etc and whatever right how do you work with array so this is like if you are very strong with javascript this is very easy to understand but i will tell what all uh, i am doing here in the upcoming videos so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to go to app.js and then i'm going to remove all this uh, okay i'm not yeah i'm going to remove this code right so and then i'm going to let's see copy paste tool so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it here so i'm going to use to do's right and then i forgot one step so you have to go to reducer copy and paste so if you go if you, if you are in this line and then if you use command or like in a mac if you use command or in uh, mac like in windows if you use control and then c and then what you can do is control and uh, v or command plus v right so it would do something like this right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the to do reducers and then i'm going to change the key okay so and i'm going to change the key and then i'm going to go to app.js and i'm going to change it here that's it right so the same logic so in uh, use reducers we had user data in to do, to -do reducers we have to do's so what do i do or what will i do i will so the to do's is an array so in order to use array inside the return statement we are going to use a uh, map function so i'm going to go here use to do's dot map and then item return uh, and then i'm going to use div so each key should have an item so item dot id and then here i'm going to use item dot name so i'm going to use item dot name okay so if i do this right and then if i go here uh, to do's dot map yeah sorry it's not to do's dot map it's uh, it's okay let's use to do data why no okay this is a very good uh, thing to understand it will make uh, if bugs comes if we clear those bugs you can understand it more so here you can see to do's dot map is not a function that is correct because what you have to do is you have to use to do's and then you have to access this one so in order to change the name what i'm going to do is to do data okay so to do data and then i'm going to use dot to do that's nothing but inside this to do data we will have this to do's right so if i go here you can see redux would be there so what i'm going to do for more clarity i'm going to use key and then i'm going to use key plus one and then dot like this right you can see right so this is how you are like you have to create like do all these processes now comes the real a uh, question on why we need to do this is this is a very small application in my application i have more than 10 5, like 5 to 10 actions 3 to 7 reducers multiple different types of types throughout almost 20 to 50 screens that the app i am working so think about it like in the next project we'll be using api right at that time you will clearly understand why i why, like why we need to uh, do all this to set up redux right so we have successfully uh, set up all these things so what i have done create a type create an action create a reducer right we have done all this so in the next video what i will be doing is i will be discussing what this is and then like if you understand that uh, you can make most of the redux stuff right so this return statement is the most crucial one because it involves complete javascript knowledge so in that case like we will be discussing what these things are doing in the last previous videos we discussed about spreading of a object from now we will also discuss about spreading of an array if you understand that then you are good to go right so we'll meet in the next video so in this video let's understand what we are doing here by a real example so what we are going to do is when the uh, user presses on this button right like submit button we are going to add the data to the global state so how did we do that before with this function now we are going to call this action so add to do action so we are going to go here and then we are simply going to use or comment this out and then use dispatch of update now comes the word update so add to do action and then now 
at the same way i told in the previous video you can uh, like create a like you can have an object you can have an uh, array of objects array string uh, booleans etc right same way in like this is normal javascript like you can send an object as a value in the parameter or a boolean or a string so what we are going to do is we are going to send a array of or like you can send an object to the uh, redux string right like redux global state so what we are going to do is we are going to use const id is to 1 id is to we are going to use math dot random and then we are going to use sorry const Uh, to do equal to this and then uh, name is to what like whatever the name that uh, the user has typed and then what we are going to do is we are going to send that here right we are going to do this and then uh, we are going to remove the state local state like this right so let's see if this is working or not so we'll go here we'll write react native you can see it's working so what is this magic that i have done right so what i have done is is very simple to uh, like uh, see but it's very difficult to understand okay so what i have done is i have created a type here called add to do now i am going to go to the actions and then in there i have done this add to do right like given there now when i call this particular add to do action right what happens is i send this object to the a global state right i send this ob object to the global state and then what happens is it calls a function which which has the type of add to do and then this data and then inside the to do reduces what i do is i get the type which is add to do and then here comes the return statement right and then what i do this particular function happens so if this particular function happens the state changes that's it till this redux is over and then here what i do the the state changes right so the value values get updated right that's it right and then uh, the last part would be here is uh, removing the data so what we are going to do is we are going to give a function which removes the data and then i will explain in a separate video of what we do inside this reduces like this return statement actually this is the most used one we either update a, a simple value okay i will give a list so we just update a string a simple string or a number or a boolean or a, like array of objects or a array of objects and then normal objects and an array of objects okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and give a div called x so you can give anything here really we are going to delete the data so we will just delete okay and then i'm going to use uh, on click same on click and then i'm going to use a uh, dispatch and then delete to do action delete to do action now comes the most important point where we are going to send the item dot id we are going to send the id of that thing right when you send the id what happens is we are going to filter the data out okay so yeah like we, i will discuss this in a very detailed manner in the next video right so i'm going to delete this right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to click on delete right so on click dispatch item dot id so here in this reducer item action dot okay uh, what i send here is data okay okay it should be action dot data okay so if i do this action delete data delete to do action on click so here we have this user types delete user okay okay not here to do types delete to do to do action delete to do and then the to do reduces this one so state dot to do's dot filter and then item dot id is not equal to so delete to do action okay what we are going to do is let's okay sorry like yeah uh, we have to reload it that's not a problem so i'm going to go here and write react okay and then submit so if i click on delete right it's going and then like if i click on redux so if something doesn't work just restart 
okay so i'm going to re uh, redo it i'm going to go to next js right so if i do this if i click on delete that particular value gets deleted from the array of objects so i'm going to write uh, firebase firebase submit i'm going to write uh, uh what like native some name right submit if i click on delete here it gets deleted that's it that's it that's all the to do application is right but till now we just discussed the uh, redux concept in the next video i will fully explain all the types that you would be learn uh, need like you need to learn to achieve this okay this video will explain each and every concept about spreading of an object and then spreading of an uh, array and then higher order functions like map and filter reduce and sort you can view my other course right we won't be using it in here so what we are going to do is in here like first thing let's okay i discussed a lot about this particular uh, no spreading of an object now we will go here first so here what we are doing is here we have an array right so like uh, this is an array with a single element which is an uh, object we, we don't care about like this is a single element in an uh, array so what we are going to do by adding a to do is we are spreading same way spreading is copying so spreading is copying all the elements elements in an array or object so what we are doing is we are spreading the elements which is here and then we are adding whatever data that we send it may be an object it may be an array itself it may be anything right we do it here right so what is happening here is when i do something and then type something and i press on submit i update i add this object or whatever inside this particular array right so what i am doing here i am spreading it i am spreading the uh, array which has one element now and then adding another element there. now it's two right that's what i am doing right this will mostly fail if you uh, like if there is no elements in there but like for now we will discuss this case right so i am copying all the elements in that array and then i am adding my own element inside that that is what is spreading of an array and then adding some element to it right same way what we are doing in like here we are spreading that object's value and then we are making some changes there right so as i told before if you have two keys of the same name right whatever key you give after like like for example here you have user data and again you give a uh, user data here right user data and something whatever which is at the last will will be shown or will be stored right so we will be using that technique in the objects so now what we are doing here is we are adding that data there right the next one deleting so what we are doing here is we are using a higher order function called filter right so always remember this is a very important concept for beginners to understand now like when you have an array of objects right each object should have a unique value or a unique id why because it will be used for updating or deleting the particular value here we have used id here right so this is an unique value so what happens is with that unique value we will be using that to update and delete stuff right so we are going to get this id and then we are going to send that to we are going to call the delete to do action which will in turn call this delete to do like this particular uh, reducer which will go here now what we are doing is we are going to grab that element with that particular id in this array and then we are going to filter it we are going to filter the array from that that is we are going to remove that element from that array that's what we can see this action here we are going to remove this element when the user clicks on delete button that's it right so we are going to do uh, this right this is a higher order function uh, we have four higher order function so you can uh, uh, like learn about them more so this is the logic that we use in redux right so if you go to this use ready is the same one we are going to like uh, another one so here we only have to do right what we can do is we can have name and then we can have email whatever right so why do we use this dot 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 state so we use this dot 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 state because 
we want to retain like the initial state is an object right so we want to retain all the elements before and then change the elements which we want to change which we want to add the data so same way this action dot data right so what we do we send some data here so in this like in the last video i uh, i got confused with the id why because i am sending the id i am not sending the uh look i am not sending the full object so what you have like what i am doing here is i am sending that particular elements id so in order to send the whole values what i can do is i can give item here and then if i go in this uh, to do actions let this let this be here so let's take i click on delete nothing happens why because i am sending the whole but like what i can say like whole object right so this reducer doesn't know what to filter out right so what i can do here is i can go here and click on id right because in the data we have that object so in that object we have that id yeah like you have to be very clear while uh, operating with this stuff or else you can understand what i'm saying right so in this action dot data dot id so here like what i can do if i click on like if i reload and then if i do the yes, same thing and then if i click on delete it will go it will be deleted right so that is the uh, logic right you can use okay so i'm not going to do that now so i am going to uh, take it and then like i'll just use item dot id right so here uh, in the to do ready we have the dot 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 state right why we use that because we are copying all the elements and then we are changing only to dos that's it right that is the logic that i have used so same way i have used the use selector and then to do data and then this is just a, you can give it any name but what you have to do is you have to give the exact name that you have given it to do data dot to dos dot name dot email right if you are able to understand all of this then you have you are um, uh, now a moderate redux developer right so in the next couple of videos we will be discussing how we will access an api and from with help of axios like we'll be downloading like sorry we'll be installing axios and we'll be getting the data in use effect and we'll be storing the data and then we'll be using this to do operations there if you are able to understand that right you can do any type of application yeah because like all the application that we use use uh, like you no know, apis right like if you are a back end developer and trying to use front end like learn front end you can make your own apis in node.js express and then you can consume that api inside the react js application and show it to the user yeah so in the next video we'll see that so in this video we'll be discussing about how we can call an api and get those data and then store it in redux so we'll go to google and search api with images right so we have a lot of apis here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use dummy because like we just for learning purposes so we'll go here and then what we will do is we will you like we we'll just copy this link and then use this in our application so for this what we need to do is we need to install something called axios so npm i axios right we can also use something called fetch right as these guys have done but i don't use it like axios is way better than that right because like in fetch you have to uh, convert the data to json and then do it in axios the data is automatically converted to json and then you can simply use it in your application so i think it's added so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start the uh, project again so first thing is in order to use this i'm going to uh, go here and then use cons get data from api is equal to and then async is an asynchronous function so what i'm going to do is cons res equal to await axios dot get so this get in this get what you have to do is you have to call this one like okay we'll just use this offset of 5 and whatever like they have given right so limit is 20 so we'll use 5 we don't need to uh, get more right so here like axios is not imported so we are going to import axios like this with intelligence now comes the important part where we'll use console dot log res dot data okay so where will you call this particular function so we'll be calling this in use effect so i'm going to import use effect here like this with intelligence and then i'm going to call this function so what does this do this calls the api only one time when the component loads so i'm going to go here and as you can see the photos and all these things are here right so what we are going to do is first thing is we are going to use a local uh, use state 
to uh, show showcase this data and then we are going to uh, you know like use redux to showcase this data and do uh, update we are not going to do to do with the uh, local uh, because it is the same like you have to use filter and then add. like you are not to add we are just going to use filter to delete those stuff okay, so i am going to go here and i am going to use const and then uh, photos comma set photos you can give any name so use state this is an object sorry this is an array of objects so i am going to use array here and then the best part is uh, this is how you have like as a front end developer if you are new this is how you have to debug right so what i am doing here you see i am calling this api res dot data nothing but like if you are using axios you should always use res dot data to grab those and then inside that what you can see here you can see limit messages all these things are. so are there so what we are going to do is we are going to get this photos so i am going to go here and use set photos of res dot data dot photos okay and then what i'm going to do like that is retrieved right so it's an map function like it's an array right so i have to use map function so i'm going to copy this copy paste also. i'm going to copy this and i'm going to simply change this to photos okay photos and then in that what we have we have a lot of description url title so i'm going to just copy this paste it here and then i'm going to go here and use image source source and then i'm going to use item dot url so where did i get the url the url is here right so item dot url and without styling it won't looks uh, it won't show so with is 100 height is 100 right so i did that so if i go here you can see it's automatically there so to make it look more better uh, i'm going to use this so i'm going to use a div and then I'm going to use this right you can see that's it I have, I have integrated the API within I think three minutes that, okay right so what I have done here is I have created a state created a function to call this and then like I install Axios I use use effect to call this and I literally copy and paste the code to get this working okay we can style if we style it it will take more than 20 minutes to style it perfectly 5 to 10 20 minutes so this is done right so here okay to make it more visible right i'm going to use color is to, okay style is to color is to red okay i'll use something like okay we have red here right so now in this side we have you can see like as i i, I told you right these guys are giving uh, the array of objects with an id that is the fun part like they are giving an id because id is a unique value so with this only we are going to delete this one so we have successfully got to know how we are going to get an api like data from an api and then store it in the local storage in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to create something called a photo reducer or photo api reducer whatever name we can give and i'm going to create an action type reducer and then we are going to put that put it here and then we are going to call it with the use selector and then we are going to use the delete function to delete it if you are able to understand that right this course is done and then like you have successfully learned redux fully right so the project that i would like you to do is uh, after that is getting some other api and trying to do this right yeah okay we'll see in the next video so in this video we will be creating a photo api reducer right so first thing what we can do let's go to the types and write photo api types you can give any name types.js see what i'm going to do i'm going to go here right copy paste right and then change it to photo so not like don't need to photo uh, like okay okay photo uh, update okay add right, something right and then delete delete to do so i will use delete photo okay uh, to make consistency right we'll use photo delete any name uh, you can give it any convention i just like uh, learned from a guy who had this convention right yeah so next is we'll go to the actions and then use what like same okay i'll tell you one more uh, easy step that i use i'll go here copy control c or command c and control v or command v okay we'll get something like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to photo api actions 
simply i'm going to go here i'm going to do one uh, thing here so i'm going to change this to photo and then photo right change this add to do to photo add and then this to photo delete you can see and then i will delete this that's it action is done within 15 seconds right next what i will do i will go to the reducer same logic copy this paste it here and then change it to photo reducers dot okay js is already there right so i'm going to remove this unnecessary things here i'm going to use photos and then at the start the initial state should be not, like empty right and then what i will do more uh, funny side i'm going to go here copy this and go here and change it here and then copy paste copy and then paste right same but here one change we have to do so like you are okay first in the photo add we are not going to add any photos what we are going to do is we are going to get the values from the api and add it to the uh, photos thing right like photos object like array so no need this i'm just going to use action dot data i will explain when we uh, do this like when we dispatch an action right and then same logic here we have to do this right no need to use this take this take this that's it simple right now change the name uh, to photo reducers right and the last step is to go here same way paste it paste it that's it okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and then and i am going to uh, dispatch an action so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dispatch an action so dispatch what is the action the action is called add photo action right i'm going to do this and then i'm going to add all these things there right why i am doing this is there are multiple different types of javascript actions which you can do here right the action that i am performing now is i am adding entire values of arrays here okay it is an array this dot data dot photos is an array i am adding that array here fully right now what i can do same copy paste or copy and then paste so i am going to go here and i will use photo data and then change the values to photo reducers okay what is the thing photo reducers yes right okay we shouldn't see that we should see this photo reducers right so i'll go here and then use photo reducers right now comes the magic here i am going to go here and then comment this out okay don't need to comment it i'm going to go here and then use uh, div uh, local data copy paste and then global data okay right and then i'm going to copy this paste it here use something like photo data whatever we have here and then in that photo data what we are going to do is we are going to get this so let's go here photo data and then this okay let's see if that is working so like here photo data dot, okay simple logic let's reload okay here if okay here you can see it's not working or it's not showing right so simple what we can do we can go here go here and use console dot log this is how you debug okay photo data right and then if i do that here you can see it's photos to do's right like it's showing it's going into the to do's so what i'm going to do here i have made a mistake not here i think in the photo reduces i have made a mistake what mistake you can easily see uh, like un like visually see what the mistake i did i have to change this to do's to photos okay right now if i save it if i go if i reload you can see that after the global data we have all this that's how you debug you debug with the help of console.log and then once it is done what you have to do is you have to remove it like this i am going to remove it like this that's it right so i have show, shown you the way to locally uh, like locally means like with the use state to show all this data and then with photos to show all this data so not photos like the global state how you can get the api from like data from an api store it with the help of this and then 
show all this data in the front end right so in the next video i will be discussing certain real world concepts surrounding uh, redux uh, which i have gone through over the past 3 to 4 years in front end development so that like you can also get it get to know those stuff and then that would be the end of the course so in this video we will be discussing the real world aspects that i have seen for the past 4 years of developing front end applications like mobile applications and websites right so the first thing is uh, redux is extremely tough to learn as a beginner it will take you multi it took me multiple months to even understand what is an action type etc when i started out coding right so what i did was i kept on uh, like seeing the videos again and again and implementing the files like the code again and again right i couldn't understand what the uh, thing up what was about this uh, you know like the spread operators and uh, of objects and arrays etc so that's what that's why i decided to make this course uh, a lot of people uh, find it very difficult to understand redux because in redux you have five concepts like actions reducers types etc and then use selector use reducer and all this right so it's extremely tough to uh, understand it as a beginner because you have to have very good knowledge about javascripts etc and like switch statements right but the most important aspect is two two aspects are uh, one is if your project goes very very big redux is the best uh, help you may ha like you will have right or any other uh, uh, state management system right in front end and then the next thing is it's extremely difficult to set up at the start so you have to take your time to uh, architect your application right so i have also discussed about the api logic like how you can uh, get the data from an api and store it through the application so the best example i would show here is so let's take this is the their uh, you know redux react redux website right so let's take if i go to stripe.com right or let's uh, here so i will just tell you the small logic here so here if you sign up right like sign in or sign up uh, in your like in in your uh, react native application or any other right okay in, re in first let's discuss about website the real world aspect of website right so let's take you move from one page to the other or etc in react router and with the help of react router and next you use pages etc right so if you want to store your data uh, throughout like without changing like okay what happens is when you are uh, when you open your app for the first time uh, what happens is like you get the data from your data backend and then store it right in your react native application uh, which uses the state management right if you uh, move around like move around the screens if you want to persist the data throughout right so for example the best case scenario is in you open up an apple uh, app or like let's take uh, facebook or instagram right because instagram is made with react native so you open up instagram and then your data would be loaded for the first time only only one time and then what happens is when you move through the screens the data the, there is no need to call the api again and again to store your data locally what is locally is here if you have four screens right in each of the screens you have to call the data and you have to store it here but if you use redux the best part is you call the api only one time and then you store it that's it you store the data and then you just get it with the help of use selector throughout the application so if we let's take if you have 50 screens which you have to move throughout you have to call the api 50 times to get the data right 50 different screens right so but if like but if you uh, use redux you call it only one time and then show it everywhere right so there are multiple uh, use cases with the like it, it will uh, save you api calls etc 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 but the main thing is for a very small application redux is unnecessary to use but no application will be small all the time as your uh, project grows right your size of your code increases so you have to maintain your state at a perfect manner so you have to understand where you store the data get it etc so that's why i made this course to make you understand all this Right, one is API calls, etc. And then the alternatives for Redux is once you understand a single concept of about a thing in software, 
you can implement it with, with any libraries for example there is uh, another library or like framework called zustan okay zustan is nothing but it's also a state management solution like uh, what i can say like uh, redux right so the same way you can say use so like it may have different different terminologies like as i said context api as use context use uh, reducer right here we have i don't know like i i have never used this but we have like use store etc here the same way but the concept is same you store the data in your uh, like global state and use it through the application and in redux also if you move around components like uh, you can use this if you move on pages screens etc you can use redux to store your data main thing is it prevents prop drilling prop drilling is nothing but inside each of your components you drill your prop down that is like from the top to the bottom redux prevents all this you simply call this use selector to change it you simply call the dispatch to uh, change your global state which reflects throughout the application that is the best part right so these are the uh, use cases and the real world experience that i have so what i'll be doing is in the next course which i'll be doing uh, i'll be using react uh, redux with react native with react native mmkv which is a local storage thing right when you are offline you can access the data as well so for now these are all the concepts uh, that you have to understand so in the next video i will be giving a recap and i will conclude the video uh, like course so in this video we'll discuss about the recap of this redux course so we discussed each and every concept that we you need to know to integrate redux inside your application right so the recap would be like we discussed about actions we discussed about reducers we discussed about types right and then we discussed about hooks like use selector and use dispatch and the last one we discussed about the spread operators inside the object and array right the first thing you need to do is you have to create an action reducer type and then a store like this right you have to create the store and then you have to go to index.js to enable redux in your application what if you don't do that right like if you do don't do that you will see that you could not find redux value etc so what you have to do you have to go into the index.js and you have to enable it like this right and then we discussed a lot about the intricacies about actions reducers and types right so what you do you create a type you create an action you create a reducer and then once you create a reducer you have an state and then you use switch case statements to get the types and then you update the values the main important concept here is the filter and then the uh, map functions etc and then the spread operators right how do you use spread operators in an object and then in an array right if you are able to clearly understand the javascript concepts behind this it's extremely easy to integrate uh, reducers right so we also discussed about the uh, how we get data from an api and store it locally as well as send the data to a global state and then we discussed about to do applications as well right so that's it like with the help of this course you could have easily gone from knowing nothing about redux to literally a moderate to an advanced user why i am saying advanced is let's take you want to integrate some other application like some other uh, application logic here like you are going to get the data from uh, uh, food food api right you can copy this and paste it and then you take the data as a food api action and then food reduces food types right and then you can update it here and then what you can do you can simply use like food data so like food data and then call that reducer here and simply use whatever function you want you can update the array object string uh, boolean numbers etc and whatever right so this is how you do it right what you can do you can also make a counter application where you use uh, add or like increment counter i like many tutorials will be there like increment counter decrement counter right same way increment counter and then data like you can do inc increment data here and then increment data plus 1 right you can have a uh, like action call increment action and then call like increment data plus 1 minus 1 something like that right so these are the other project like you can do to learn this like redux more but this is the, what i have done in this course is it's purely based on my real world experience for past 4 years where we deal with objects and uh, arrays more than the uh, increment data etc right so that's it so like yeah thanks for uh, purchasing this course
and congratulations on completing this redux course that i have made i hope this course helped you a lot in understanding each and every concepts in uh, redux to implement that inside your application i have compiled all the four years of experience that i have with redux into this particular course so there are many other uh, redux alternatives as well you can use them the examples like just and etc but i feel redux does the job for me i am not going to fight among people uh, fight like with the libraries and etc redux does my job so uh, i am going to do courses regularly from now so the next course i will be doing is uh, react native with redux so i am a mobile app developer and a website developer as well so i use redux both in react native application as well as in my react next js applications so here i am going to integrate a redux with react native with a library called react native mmkv right so this is a key value storage library made by vchat so this by using redux with react native mmkv i have seen extremely fast uh, uh, you know like mobile responsiveness like the uh, the way i get the data from the local server etc is extremely fast and then my application seems very uh, quick than any other apps i have used so in the next course i will be discussing the same redux concepts again but in the terms of a mobile application and then what i am going to do is i am going to tell more about Uh, react native and then uh, mobile applications in general because there is a lot more demand for mobile app developers than web developers because like react like mobile app development is difficult to do right than uh, website uh, it, it's my opinion so i'll be discussing react native redux with mmkv package as my next course thanks a lot for purchasing this course i will see you in the next one